Hey guys, it's Alon. Minecraft's 2,147,483,647 block limit has been broken again, this time in beta 1.2, with land generation kept as in vanilla, so that the far lands generate normally. Alright, so now let's open the console here, so that you slash, and let's head to 4 billion. 150, and then 1. So, when this loads up here, you're going to see that the that the terrain actually renders normally, except for the glitches with associated with teleporting, of course. Let's hit. Wow, that was a huge lag spike, actually. Let's hit F, F, and F again. There, that fixed the rendering glitch. But you can see that's 4 billion blocks out. Terrain is rendering normally. And I can even experience the game quite far. There. So you can see I am about the 4, uh, about the four billion mark here. And again, yeah. It's and again, terrain is rendering just normally. Now let's head to 34 billion, 359 million, 735,400, 100, or 50, sorry. And then 34 billion, 359 million, 736,950. When this loads up. Oh, there's a huge brick pyramid under the ground. But I have to, I have to hit F a few times again to fix the rendering glitch. But now that this loads up, that this has loaded up, you can see the corner biofill noise farlands here, which is something I haven't been able to show you guys before. Now the start of the biofill noise farlands and the edges is actually much rounder and spoover than I assumed previously. This is actually very close to what was previously the chunk overwrite limit. And you can see that, that these are actually infinite stone basins. Now, if I ha if I dip down below here, oh, that's right. We can't actually break the box instantly, instantly, because we because it, the game actually lacked trade mode this time. But if I were to dip down below, you'd actually see you'd actually see that the dirt layers just go down. For, that the dirt layers just go down all the way to bedrock, and the reason for that is actually likely some interpolation related equation blowing up after we reach the biofilm noise farland. Now I, I don't know if I can really show that to you guys since I don't think I have no clip ability right I don't really have no clip ability right now. No I don't. Uh, that should probably be added into this mod. And it will take a while to dig out the the blocks here. But now it's head to one trillion about one point oh five trillion and then 150, and then 1 billion, 4 million, 65,020. So there's something else that's pretty interesting, actually, that I found. There's something else that is pretty interesting that I found, actually. After about a trillion blocks, I've pretty much only been able to find grassland biomes. Like, I actually checked 1 trillion, 4 billion, approximately, and it was fine, except that the biomes are starting to become sort of larger, and the borders were shaped kind of differently. And I, I actually picked the Z coordinate here, because you, just for the, so you, can, so you can see the start of the farther land, like the boundary between the edge farther lands and the corner farther lands. And this mod also re-added the brick pyramids from early instead. But pretty much every coordinate that I teleported to beyond one trillion or so ended up being just grassland. I'm not sure why and 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 could you guys and could you guys please investigate further? It would I would really appreciate it. Now let's head to, and I would I would really appreciate it. Now let's head to nine quadrillion seven trillion one nine billion two hundred fifty four million seven forty thousand nine hundred and ninety two one hundred and fifty and then one. When the map loads up here you're gonna, you will see the stripe lands in Java Edition once again. 
Now I have to hit F four times to fix the glitch again. But you can see this type land rendering in. God, not and now and while in and while vanilla flying speed in the later versions is actually not enough to fly into the stripe lands, the flying speed that is in this mod is actually enough to fly into the stripe lands. And we could actually continue all the way out to our next stop. The TP eighteen So now, so I just doubled my distance again. We are now at two to the fifty-fourth blocks out, or eighteen quadrillion, fourteen trillion, three hundred ninety billion, five hundred nine million, four hundred one thousand nine hundred eighty-four. So you will see that. So now you can see this. You guys can see the stripe lands going into the two D lands. And, I, and while I can still move into the stripe lands, I can't. I can't fly into the two D lands. Now the reason you can barely see anything in the 2D lands is because of the unchanging terrain of the farther lands. And and how and blocks will only be visible in the 2D zone if they are exposed on the along the axis that we are traveling. So So I would show you guys the 53.905 quadrillion mark to see if the farther Ur lands really exist. But it would be very hard to see. Of, co of course, I hit the F key by accident. Let's use slash I. So let's just drop out of the map here. <coughs> and respawn and do the outro to this video. So yeah, guys. That's about all I've got for today. The mod download link is in the description down below. Now, to install the mod, click use create a new instance in MultiMC and set it to beta 1.202. You will need to, to enable beta versions with a checkbox. And then and then click and then add the zip file for this mod with the add to Minecraft.jar button. And then and then, and then just and then just toy around, I guess. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell and click on all for all notifications. And goodbye.